I'll do my best. Gondor, just who I wanted to see. Something wrong? Sort of. But just the other day, one of our squads got chased by a ginormous monster. Yeah? How big are we talking here? Big. Really big. It got them good, too. Uh, par for the course with monsters, really. Of course, some of them are going to grow ginormous. Sure. We've seen some stonking big ones, too. So, what's the story, then? They got attacked by monsters and ran home, tails between legs? Thanks, a lot of them. No, you're not getting it. It was just one monster, and it chased off the whole team. There was a scavenger team from engineering on a mission in the Faunus region. You don't say. I'm starting to respect this monster more than I respect you lot. If they got wrecked by a single enemy, they must have got careless, even if it is a big one. That wouldn't be too harsh. If a monster senses weakness, it can strike without warning. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it's more like... Well, they say it let them go. Uh, sorry, do my ears need rinsing? Because I could have sworn you just said a monster let them go. <laughs> yes, that's what I heard. They say it didn't keep up the attack, that it just wandered off at some point. Well, it's a fun story and all, but it sounds like a massive crock to me. Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced either, but knowing these guys, they wouldn't just make it up for a lark. I don't think we should doubt that they really did come under attack. The part about being allowed to escape, however, is mystifying. I wasn't aware of any monsters with that behaviour pattern. Yeah, look, anyway, I thought you might want to know about it, boss. Stroke of luck that I managed to catch you. You did good, soldier. I'll take a look. After all, where would we all be if I didn't step in to clean up all your messes, eh? Not too rusty. It should be somewhere around here, right? But well, rumors have a tendency to become overblown. A similar principle may be at work here. Well, duh. Nobody'd want to admit they got their asses handed to them by one monster. I don't really have time for this. Why don't you, shit heels, get to the bottom of this, huh? You seemed interested enough earlier. Don't get me wrong. I am a mite curious. I want to know about the thing that beat my men black and blue. If it turns out to be a tall tale, then that'll be the end of it. But either way, I guess we can just beat it up. That way, no more threat. Jobs are good. I like the cut of your jib, guy. That's right. No need to overthink it. We see something ginormous, we beat it up. We see anything else, we still beat it up. Easy peasy. That's one way to look at things. Anyway, we've already come out here. We can sweat the details, or we can do things the easy way, right? Gondor does have a point. It might be better for us to shelve the speculation and just start looking. Hey, over there. Those guys sure don't look okay. Hey, 
are you there? You still alive? <laughs> what? Who are you lot? What happened to you? We were attacked by a fiend. Huh? A fiend? We were in combat with an Agnian colony when it blindsided all of us. We did our best to escape, but it was pretty catastrophic for both sides. Where was it you were fighting? We've been looking for that mudder. It was Singbree's tunnel. You should take care, though. That thing wasn't an everyday kind of monster. Let's take a look. Could be we've hit Hayder. been looking for? They look to be surrounded. And are those the infamous... We can talk about it later. Those people need our help. Yeah. We owe you. Wait, who are you? Just passing by. Ah, but we met some of your mates earlier, I think. Oh, I see. So they made it out alive. You lot are pathetic. Getting done in by this small fry? <sighs> no, you got it wrong. Before we got ambushed by those things you just took down, we were fighting a ginormous turkin. Oh, wow. I'll take it all back then. Clearly, you're all valiant soldiers who got messed up by a turkey. Admittedly, these monsters were pretty large. They were pretty strong, but was it really such a big deal? Spark it all! It was a huge one that did us in. Anyway, we'll go rendezvous with our friends. Sorry for dragging you out here. Well, that was a bloody waste of my time and talents. Ginormous Turkin, my shapely ass. It's difficult to believe that Turkins would even nest in this area. And it's not like we could just go and rustle them up if they did. OK, so what's the plan? Do we go back? I just can't get over how we came all the way out here and we didn't even get into a decent scrap. It's exactly this kind of shit that really roils my gut. Whoa! Well, now we're talking. That's what I want to sink my teeth into. What? Get after him, you lily liver dads! Look, how you get in a white? Gondor, no running off.
Let's stay cautious. Why were you running? Because you were chasing. Ha! <laughs> Anybody run away when scary. But you're a ginormous turkey. When she puts it like that. It's definitely more ginormous than a normal turkey. What is big idea? Huh? Barging into roofs with muddy boots and it shows full breeding. Innocent, beak freak. You're the one who messed up my guys. Huh? And what problem with that? You want to know the problem? How about I explain it to you with my fists, you shit-crusted feather brain? I don't know where humans came from, but they attacked me, so I chased them away. That's the end of story. A lot of ruckus in neighbour brood recent. Turk and just want peace and quiet. Quiet! That too much to ask? Well, we did hear it let the soldiers get away. Hmm. You humans think we special. Keep coming to cap them and attack us. When Turkins get attacked, we return crawl for crawl. But we never attack humans if humans not attack us. What? So you weigh up whether or not you want to pick a fight? Humans not any different. Ah. Violence only breed more violence. Therefore, when hit tokens, expect it back. Did you just threaten me? Wow, you got guts, Bockhead. I think I'll grill him for supper. Hold on, let's not get heated, Gondo. It does make a lot of sense what he's saying. So tell us. Why are you here? They're no big mystery. Had Argu over territory, so now Turkins just look for easy living place. Somewhere comfy? Comfy, yes. Turkins is an island, just like Herman. Not an island? What, you're gonna build some kind of bird confederacy and then attack us? No confederates. I'm not attacking flock like you. When fighting, I alone. So, what do you mean, you're not an island? It has kids. These are my turklets. I search for easy living place for them. Ah. Uh... That why, when strangers attack, I has to fight back. Humans only flock with birds of same feather. I try talk sometimes, but they only run away. Can't really speak for you personally, bud, but it sounds like you've had it rough. Very rough. Like trouble with neighbours wasn't bad enough. They're also little food to eat. They think soon time for move again. New place with no humans. Better grazing. What? You don't get enough grub here? That right. I turk in gourmet. I don't think you get to be picky in your case, mate. Was little turk in joke. Glad to move. It for provide better food opportunity for turklets. Just before. I go out to forage for turklet dinner. Oh, no. So when you bumped into us earlier... That right. Then I chased again. Is some kind of instinct for humans chasing turkins 
day complete ruined. So, if you had that food, you could move. If we had enough food for my great, we could leave within an hour. But this neighbour brood, so many humans and monsters, migration have to wait a long time. Hmm. Oh, all right. We'll do your shopping. Let's see now. This neck of the woods, juicy broccoli and zap caps should do it. Gondor, are you sure? We'll be back with the food. So you and your brats get ready to leave, all right? Huh? Kind human really exist. Have to adjust expectations for future. Ah, uh, human can also bring ten spring roots. Hey, don't push your luck. It still ain't too late for me to barbecue you. And anyway, you brought this on yourself. So we're really doing this? I'm guessing Gondor's got some kind of a thought here. Might as well tag along. Showing good judgement there, Meathead. Maybe you're not hopeless after all. What's that? You hungry for a knuckle sandwich? Oh, sorry for bother, humans. This very big help. Always nice to see a new face. Just eyeball the numbers, eh? Turkins ain't good enough at maths to tell the difference. I don't know about that. Huh. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? This was a nice find. Um, juicy broccoli and zap caps, was it? We managed to find a good number. Do you think this will be enough? I wouldn't worry about it. 
It's not like they'll be able to tell the difference. Should be enough for the kids, anyhow. The lurching monstrosity will make do. Wait, Gondor. You're actually worried about the little ones? <laughs> Hardly. You do realize there's a chance that the larger one has been lying to us, right? If it turns out he has, we just punch his lights out. Simple. Well, be that as it may. If we get them to move away ASAP, it saves us a world of trouble. It's true. If they relocate somewhere further away from us, everyone's lives will be more peaceful. All right. Let's get this back to them then. And we can wrap this... What was that? Stupid twits. What now? Let's check it out. Let's just hurry back. I'll leave him alone for a second and now these damn it! What wrong with you humans? This my mess! Shut up! If we don't take you out, we'll never be able to look our commander in the face. You the ones that attack us! <laughs> don't let the monster confuse you. You dipshits! What are you playing at? Are you all right? What's going on? He's protecting his kids. Wait, chill out, you guys. This isn't what you think. That thing's a monster. Just leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You think we can show our faces back home if we got done in by an overgrown turkey? Give me a break. If you're itching to get in our way, we'll just have to give you a beating. was tricky. Turk and truth. No parent can bear to put own Turklets in danger. Yeah. I get it. Are all the Turkins all right? Turklets are safe, but I not so. Please, no. Don't tell me. Uh -huh. My gizzard. It leaking out. Put yourself together! I'm not letting you leave your bloody kids alone! Gondor... That is correct. I also not think it come to this. Tragic day indeed. Raising little turklets can be such... really hard, hard work. But this... what happened here... this is own fault. Exactly like you say. Brought this all on top of self. Every time get attacked, I was such big flock fool to keep fight back. Never should fight human in first place. Quiet better. Should run away to save a roost. Think about your children, damn you! If you die now. Maybe they can survive on own. 
my turklets. It no like their feather brains. <gasps> so you there, small as human, please hear my lastest request. What is it? Let's hear it. If there's... If there is place that's safe and have no fighting, I want you to take my turklets there so safe and tight. If they just need live, then turklets can handle it by self. But they... They not do good for fighting. They not strong. Like I was when in primes of use. If, if Turkin can ask you. Oh. He's gone. Yeah. I don't care if it's a Turkin. Seeing someone die before your eyes and not been able to do anything about it. It's... it's shit. But... I think we did all we could. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Hey! You lot! Got a job for ya. A job? You heard the bird. We gotta take him with. I, uh, did kind of bring this on us all. I don't really think it's your responsibility. <laughs> did I ask you? What's it gonna be? Your kids coming? Or would you rather stay here with Daddy? All right. Go say your farewells. But it's not safe here anymore. So don't take any longer than you have to. Gondor, are you sure about this? Life put them in front of me. So I wanted to do what I could to make their lot bearable. And there's just the little ones left. If they say they want to live, I can at least give them that much. You're right. I think that's the best way. Yeah. Life can be a bitch sometimes. But what's the alternative? None of us planned it. But we're family now. And family has to stick together. Right? Makes sense. I'll tell you right now. The work will be hard. You'll have to scratch for your own grain. You sure you still want it? Your dad was a tough customer. Don't you ever forget that. Ah. Shit always comes at you sideways. Are you okay, Condor? Mind your damn business. You're not the ones who's gonna have to teach stuff to non-verbal bird things. True. Let's get going. There's plenty to do and daylight's wasting. Just part of the protocol, innit? 